What's up, YouTube? This is a quick, short, talk-through review about my Zugo Rhino AMG. And yes, this is a Zugo Rhino. I've done a few things, as you can see. For one, it's a 72-volt system. 3,000-watt hub motor. 50 amp hour battery. I've added uh, rear view cam because I couldn't find some rear view mirrors that fit without shaking all over the place and me actually being able to see. And I prefer that rear view cam much better. Since I'm using an aftermarket controller, I'm using an aftermarket display app and i love this app it does everything my other display did and then some so yes that is a hub motor direct drive is so much better for me i love the quietness i love the top end and uh I love the regenerate, regenerative braking system. Uh, that's something you can't do with a geared motor. But anyway, she's pretty fast. Uh, let's see. No, let's cancel that. Uh, see if I can get a few speed times uh, not that one that one didn't go anywhere so yeah you can see right there I did 42 so uh, she'll do 45 right now I have the uh, current limited at 50 amps I'm pretty sure she'll do 55 65 if I push about a hundred hundred fifty amps through there, but right now I like the range and I don't need that much top in I'm Not going on a highway. I just want to be able to get out the way and believe you me. I can get out the way and besides right now It's hard keeping that front wheel on the ground as is I have to shift all my weight forward when I smash it But anyway, I love this thing I loved it before I did what I did. I just love it more now. Uh, is Zugo Rhino best bang for the buck as far as I'm concerned? Uh, they go for about 1900 brand new. And uh, you can spec it up to about 23, 2400. I think you can get a dual motor and a bigger battery and all that jazz. But, as far as I'm concerned, for the price, uh, it's so much better than a Super 73. For one, that cassette right there, 7-speed cassette, and that big, uh, I think it's a 45 tooth, or no, I'm sorry, 54 tooth. You can actually pedal this thing home. You can actually pedal it, period. A lot of these bikes claim to be bikes. And they're not really bikes if you can't pedal them home. Uh, most Super 73s only have one gear. And that's a high gear and a short pedal stroke. So if, if you can get 5 miles per hour, you're doing good pedaling those. But anyway, I'm not here to bash Super 73s. I just uh, I like to get more bang for my buck. And... Uh, I don't think this is a bad looking bike. You know, I had a couple Super 73 guys tell me my bike was ugly. <laughs> I don't know if that's some hate or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, I've been into the PEVs for about six months now. And as you can see, uh, I made the steps as most people do. Started out with one of those. That's actually a Mepo V3. I changed the board on it. Uh, then I went to a scooter. That's a Varla Eagle one I changed the grip tape on because I don't like all them 
fires coming out the head and all that. Uh, and then I finally stopped at e-bikes. And it's a matter of feeling safe. You know, I'm 50 years old. Now, don't get me wrong. I can ride all of them extremely well. But I feel most secure when I'm sitting down. 40 miles per hour standing up is a little uh, sketchy. Anyway, that is a short overview of the Zugo Rhino. I'll try to add a clip of me riding this thing. If not, I will do a full review later on. I should have did one when I got this thing brand new, but uh, it didn't take me long to start throwing some mods at it. So, here I am. And uh, it was pretty easy as far as I'm concerned to mod this thing. Uh, I see a lot of people asking how to 72 volt a Super 73 or a Rad Rover or any of these bikes. And they can all be upgraded 72 volted. And it won't cost you 2500 bucks as I've seen on some other videos. That's ridiculous. That's a whole nother bike. $2,500 to upgrade it to 72 volts? Are you kidding me? I don't even want to pay that for the bike. Anyway, I bought a, a 3000 watt kit off of Amazon. I think I paid uh, about four five hundred bucks for it they have cheaper ones they have a three hundred dollar kit they have a eight hundred dollar kit and the difference being uh the controllers and the batteries and all that whatever the case uh i think what is it q power they have one there's there's plenty out there it, it, it all depends on which you want to spend but anyway like i said four or five hundred bucks for a kit you diy it bam that's it that's it and i mean e-bikes are pretty simple you have the controller you got the motor you got the battery those are the three major components and that is why i had to remove the uh factory display because i hardwired this new controller and everything and um I wasn't trying to keep the old display. So, uh, let me see. Uh, that's about it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video step by step of how to wire it up. And like I said, it's, it, it's pretty simple. Very, very simple. I feel like anyone can do it with some tools. If you can't do it, inbox me i'll do it for you and i promise you it still won't cost you no twenty five hundred dollars that is ridiculous matter of fact i saw a video where uh they wanted twenty five hundred dollars just for the kit not even installed so uh i i don't even want to think about what that would cost installed anyway maybe it's because uh it's plug and play you know most people just if they don't have any uh electrical skills or mechanical skills they just want to plug everything up and they want to plug it up to their factory system as i said so uh hard wiring it isn't an option for them but uh for me uh it wasn't even a choice so like i said pretty simple all right, fellas, that's it.